So I think you uh, need to uh, appreciate uh, what many people have said, which is that the size and scale of the Islamic finance industry has been growing. And obviously, people are very familiar with uh, numbers being banded around like US dollar, one trillion in assets, and so on. And the point is, what that means is that uh, Islamic financial institutions are growing in scale and growing in geographic scale as well as in product scale. Uh, and that has two implications. So one is when you start looking at the products and their balance sheets, you will see increasingly mismatches, structural mismatches uh, between inflows and outflows. And similarly, when you see geographic uh, diversification, you, what that brings with it is currency, uh, uh, currency risks. Uh, and so derivatives, Islamic derivatives, Islamic hedging is actually about helping institutions like that address the risks that they are carrying through their uh, balance sheets, through their uh, activities, uh, such as currency, for example. Uh, and they're, they're well-known products, they've been around for a while, uh, and really, in a way, it's the fact of the increase in size of the industry, it's what's really led to the, the growth in the demand for these products. As I said, um, one of the, uh, you know, the, the, the main use of, the hedge, of hedging as a tool is, a risk, is to manage the risks that are now in the books of Islamic financial institutions. Uh, and in my conversation, certainly, that I've been involved in with the Shia scholars, you know, there's, a, there's a widespread recognition that risk management, prudence and risk management are uh, both appropriate uh, and indeed necessary. Uh, and taking, carrying risks which can be managed uh, is, you know, in itself is a questionable activity. So, uh, you know, while I think uh, share scholars obviously uh, are increasingly becoming familiar with the underlying products themselves and how the hedging is taking place and affected, uh, you know, and that's something that, that is developing itself over time, uh, the, the basic principle of is hedging appropriate, I think there's no... To my knowledge, at least, there's no debate about the appropriateness and the prudence of risk management. Indeed, as I say, I, some scholars, I think, would even go so far as saying there's the necessity for it. Uh, I think the range of products that's commonly being used is actually pretty limited, and, and it goes back to um, two of the things that I hinted about largely a, a few minutes ago. One is currency risks. Uh, increasingly, financial institutions are taking currency risks because they are operating in different countries. They obviously report in their home currency currency, you know, so they face exchange risks, as indeed do their customers. You know, and a, a car importer in the UAE importing cars from Europe is clearly facing currency risk as well. So part of the, you know, one of the basic products is foreign exchange or foreign exchange related and currency risk related. And the other risk that we're seeing being addressed regularly is profit rates where the rates that are being earned or achieved or paid uh, are one and you know on the other side of the balance sheet is a different, you know, fixed on one side, floating on the other or floating and fixed. And so profit rate swaps which manage that exposure uh, are another product that we see regularly. And I don't think you know, whilst there are other products as well, I think fundamentally my information, my understanding is, you know, those two basic products, foreign exchange and profit rates, are, you know, where the great part of the actual necessity or the requirement for hedging is. So I, I think the change in the market has been the increasing acceptance of the necessity for this sort of risk management activity. Uh, and as I was explaining earlier, I think that in itself is a function of the growth of the market. I think as the market has grown, the need for it has grown, the demand for it has grown as well. And whereas some years ago, uh, you, we were in a situation where there was much less need for it and actually you know, a good deal of debate about it, I think people have learned to realise what the need is uh, and, and ready to accept it. And I think that's the basic uh, evolution that we've seen. Uh, and actually, frankly, the, uh, you know, the, the financial situation of the last few years 
uh, and how it has impacted both conventional and Islamic institutions, I think, simply underlined the importance of this product area. I, I think um, there are two, uh, or maybe three broad aspects, I think, in terms of challenges. One is, I think, just information and education. I think, unfortunately, there's still quite a lot of confusion about uh, exactly what these products are and how they work. But I, I do think the activities of uh, yourselves, uh, of, uh, of IFM, of ISDA and others are helping to spread the knowledge a little bit and, and people are becoming much more familiar with both the use and the, you know, the, 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 the composition, if you like, of these products. Uh, I think the other area is the recognition that it's not simply about the products themselves. In order to be able to, as an Islamic financial institution, in order to be able to deliver this product to your client, you need an infrastructure, you need an operational infrastructure. You know, that goes from everything from legal documentation to the capital side, you know, with the operational side in between and the systems and the management and so on. So I think that there's a, again, you know, as some institutions obviously are very far down that road in terms of having the infrastructure in place, I think other institutions probably are still uh, at the early stages of putting that infrastructure in place. And I think that's, you know, in many ways, things like standardization will help those institutions in particular to move forward and I think make a, you know, a larger, a wider and more competitive marketplace.